is Dalton Castle rocking the Neil Diamond behind him. Yeah, and, and coincidentally, on the shirt too. You know, you wear that. I, I, you know, I, I one thing I wanted to ask about was the uh, 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 Sisterhood of the Traveling Tights, and you wear that shirt a lot from the episodes I was going through. It's my weekend shirt, and that's when I do the episodes. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> so, uh, Don Castle, of course, uh, we talk a lot. We mentioned him a lot on here on the show. Uh, involved with uh, locally here with the interna- international wrestling cartel. Sorry, uh, and uh, you're actually going to be coming up on Cage Fury this weekend uh, in Elizabeth, PA. Um, mm-hmm. So, uh, you, you've been with IWC for what over a year now? Uh, yeah, I think uh, July would have made a year. So, mm-hmm. yeah, over a year now. Excellent, excellent. Um, now, I, and I know you, you're involved with a lot more. Because, uh, again, like I mentioned, the, the sister, Sisterhood of the Traveling Tights show you do online. But you're actually a radio DJ up in Albany. Oh, yeah. Radio, baby. It's uh, it's pronounced Albany, you Pittsburgh. <laughs> 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 Apparently, I can't even announce the uh, the towns around here. So it's not surprising that I messed it up. So No worries. I forget you. Excellent. But yeah, I, I do uh, I do an afternoon show Monday through Friday on a, a rock station out here called Q103. And it's uh, the Sister of the Traveling Tights was kind of my way of kind of molding my two worlds together. I, I talk a lot of my wrestling on air, and uh, we have a good presence online with our wrestling. Look at that! That's my uh, <laughs> that's my things there. And uh, I wanted to take the camera on the road with me and show people what I do. And instead of just talking about it on, on the radio, so people might go on the website and kind of check it out. And oh, it's been fun. Yeah, you, you're uh, well over 20 episodes here. Um, and and, and it, it's pretty cool because it, it's kind of like a road diaries for you. And you get to talk to a lot of different people. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate it. I've gotten lazy the last couple of weeks. I really haven't put the effort in. But uh, Cage Fury, it'll be back on the next week excellent excellent uh so again like i say you're 20 episodes in on this what what's your uh favorite interview uh from the, from the entire time oh I, i've got i've got plenty I, I enjoyed my time with Brody lee uh or, or luke harper i don't know why that one just clicked I, very little editing i had to do with that um my i think my favorite memory from doing it was with uh coco beware Mm-hmm. It was it was both the most entertaining one I think I've done, in my opinion, but also the scariest, because I thought at one point he was going to strangle me. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, if you, if you watch the episode, I, I get him singing Pile Driver, and then he wants me to sing along with him, and I... I don't know the words to that song, and I, I, I know a few of them, but I just I blanked out completely, and he just, he knew. He was not happy. Yeah, I thought it was weird that in the middle of a song that he put his hands around your neck on that one. So I oh, thought, I thought he was just that's, getting into it, right? That's all birds say hello. Peacock to a parrot. That's, that's how we do it. Yeah, I mean, he was here for a legend show. He seemed like the nicest guy, you know, and, and telling us about Frankie and everything. And uh, yeah, you evoked an emotion out of him that I didn't expect from uh, the Birdman. <laughs> I should have poked harder. I, I could have got a different emotion out of him, too. <laughs> 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 Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, you're also known as uh, the Party Peacock, amongst other things. Uh, definitely one of the most flamboyant guys. Amongst we, other things, like what? Like I don't know, um, whatever you call yourself. I don't know other promotions. Uh, what other people I hear call you? Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, you're definitely like one of the most uh, 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 out there personalities we definitely see in this area. Uh, uh, so, where, where did the Party Peacock come from? Where where, where does that come from inside you? Uh, the Party Peacock, it, it, it was a collaboration between, I have a tag partner in, in the in Western New York area, Will Clarissi, and we, we've tagged together a lot, and that kind of was a, it, it happened together. I mean, we just kind of got paired off, and we're like, hey, we're, we're actually the same person, we should we should definitely be a tag team, and we had to think of a name, and uh, the, the song I come out to, the Katy Perry song, was playing, and we're like, Peacocks, that's funny, we should be that. And then we start to thinking about it and it all made sense. It all actually just kind of fell in a roll where we're loud or colorful. Uh, we're obnoxious. We want the attention on us. And, uh, if, I don't know if anybody's really looked it up, but the closest descendant to, uh, to a philosopher is actually a peacock and we're dangerous just like a philosopher. So, I mean, 
it fit both our personalities. We've taken it when we're not with each other, and we take it when we're together. So that's that's where the peacock comes from. I I gotta honestly uh, take a moment and say that that was a lot deeper than I actually thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I was getting inside you. Hey, you I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna move your you were around. that that was uh that was not the ex- the answer I was expecting. You're like, oh man, I like cock. Yeah, I know. I was like, <laughs> man, I, I wanted bright tights and, and they have bright feathers and peacocks. Yeah. Yeah, that, that goes along with it. But it was, it was, uh, my, my whole thinking was it was probably the same thought process that went into the South Carolina Gamecocks. They're just <laughs> like, dude, let's see what animal we can pick to make the m- most messed up like mascot Chance. in the world, <laughs> peak. Uh, see, uh, game Isn't talks. That that's like the elephants. <laughs> that would that's be amazing. Oh, yeah, let's be the elephants—a big fat animal with a long nose that looks like a penis. <laughs> so people hunt me for my tusk. Join us on join us on this week's wrestling mayhem shows. We talk about penises with Dalton Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sums it up. Should I tweet that? I'm not. I'm not down with the social medias. I'm gonna tweet it. Okay, that'll get the butts and seats. <laughs> All right, we actually have uh, uh, somebody. Uh, uh, unfortunately, is unable to be with us today. Uh, DJ Lunchbox. Uh, Did he die? No. He well, almost. He's on vacation to South Carolina. Um. So home of the Gamecocks. Home of the game talks, <laughs> ironically. So there you go. Uh, he did. He did uh, uh, drop us some questions of a variety of areas here. Um, so I wanted to get to them before we uh, lost them there. Uh, he says, uh, "Well, first uh, the standard. Uh, why are you a wrestler, and what made you want to be a wrestler? Why are you a human? Huh? Why don't you ask him that? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, maybe you want to be a wrestler? Yeah, it's clearly in my blood. I don't know." I don't know if I sat down and decided this is what I need to do. It, it, it kind of all just fell into place. I was a uh, collegiate wrestler. I, I did high school wrestling. I wrestled four years in college for the NCAA's, and then uh, that ended. All my best friends were already doing pro wrestling. Uh, Jimmy Olsen, Colin Delaney, and I've been around that since I was 15. And it came to time to uh, make a decision. What do you want to do? And I was like, I want to be an actor, and I also want to be an athlete. And these are the the, the perfect medium was to be a pro wrestler. Excellent, excellent. Uh, he follows that up uh, with, who would win in a fight between Mr. McFeely and King Friday? Me. Oh, Mr. McFeely, the, the stupid mailman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see the video where he made a kid cry, though? Mr. McFeely, no, the mailman. Yeah, are we talking about Mr. Rogers? Yeah, yeah. M- Mr. Yeah. McFeely didn't make the mailman. Didn't make the kid cry. Let's get let's get this straight. It was a giant panda bear. <laughs> That's what made the kid cry. That'll make anybody so, cry. I know. The pan- terrifying. The panda was in the his panda back was pocket, purple, though. Anyways, mm-hmm. exactly. Um, Unless something is uh, is a uh, baby panda sneeze, right? Is that that's the only. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next he asks, uh, um, uh, match against any current WWE star, who would it be? Ziggler. Ziggler? Mm. Yeah, or, or Jericho. I might have my opportunity to get Jericho. Well, yeah, you just left. Well, yeah, I'll find him in the street somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just, go, just go to no, a Fozzie uh, show. His band is uh, is playing our big summer concert. Uh, the, the Uproar Fest is coming to our area, and uh, I'm, I'll be broadcasting there all day, so... I'm going to be trying to find him in leather pants somewhere. Nice. Nice. Um, and then, and what's that? And then wrestle the hell out of him. <laughs> right there. Right there on stage. Right? Yeah. Or in the alley. Whatever. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, have you... I, he, gets, he gets weird with these. Have you ever worn a nun's habit? A nun's hat? A nun's habit. What is that? It's the entire it's a, outfit that they wear. Oh, yeah. And, like, who hasn't? They're not American <laughs> unless you put those on. He follows up with, was it comfortable? Uh, it was at first. And then and then you look in the mirror, and I started just hitting all these Whoopi Goldberg lines. <laughs> <and> that, <laughs> it were they, were so they from much. the right movie, though? 
Right. It wasn't so much wearing the, the dress. It was the uh, the racism that comes with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on. Moving on. <clears throat> Greatest and best jobber of all time. You mean enhancement talent? Yes. <laughs> uh, I I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't like really a. I don't really have a, an opinion on who who the best is. I'll tell you the best I've encountered is Bad Boy Barry Hardy. He used to tag with Gilbert when he was Dwayne Gill. I just that's a personal tie. I like those guys. Nice, nice. And finally, he asks, uh, best Vince McMahon, eighties Attitude Era or twitchy flailing today's Vince. I think Vince McMahon's like a fine wine. He gets better in age, and uh, it just keeps getting better. Awesome, awesome. Um, so I, I wanted to toss it to the guys here on Skype. Is, he uh, watching this? Is Vince watching? I hope so. <laughs> you know, he's, he's watching. Sometimes we suspect that there's somebody up there watching this, but mm -hmm. you never know. Uh, I want to give an opportunity to the guys here on Skype because uh, uh, so they can get uh, uh, edge in. Um, you guys have any questions for Mr. Castle? I do, yeah, but well, it has uh, to wait until last. Oh, yeah, you have your question, of course. Yes. So. <laughs> uh Oh, is there a juicy one stirring? There's, there's, yes, there's there is. I don't know. It, it got pretty, uh, it got pretty heated last last week when he did this question. Yeah. So, um, I'm not that, uh, Josh, I'm not putting anything in my mouth. <laughs> it doesn't have to go that way. Yeah, it That's doesn't. I'll say. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, we got one. From, we actually got one from the chat room uh, from Hayforn. He asked, "Will Dalton come hang out with him for his birthday?" Yeah, for a price, I am available. <laughs> There you go. Um, actually, Hot Wheels wants to know uh, who past or present wrestlers would you like to wrestle that you haven't had the opportunity oh, to wrestle yet? Oh, past, past wrestling? Past or present. Well, I did the uh, the present one, right? Yeah, yeah. Macho Man. I think that would be fun. Hmm. Well, like, on that, I got to throw a shout-out to... Uh, or Ricky Rice from AWA. Only because I've watched like a million of his matches on... ESPN Classics. <laughs> With that one, I, I have to show, throw a shout out to uh, Gregory Iron because he had the sweetest Macho King T-shirt at Resolution this past weekend. <laughs> it was it was pretty nice. He, he wears it during the promo that you'll see on TV. Um, excellent. Okay, uh, we we were talking about uh, your nicknames before. Uh, how'd you like? We had a big one for the Party Peacock, really in depth. But charismatic milkshake. How did that come about? Did not invent that. That was actually dubbed from uh, Sweet and Sour Larry Sweeney. He gave that to me before I even started wrestling. Oh, that's oh, wow. nice. And he's actually, uh, I left that kind of out of my, my story. He was, a, he was the last person, the, the one main person who gave me the push to, to finally start training. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. Uh, one from the chat room here from Bobby, who's on the show usually, Bobby F. J. Town. Uh, he asked, do you put your radio persona into your character when you wrestle, or, or, is, or is all this you? It's all me, yeah. It's all me. It's the same person. I don't. Uh, I don't put on a an act for the radio or, or the ring. Just kind of, just kind of beef it up a little bit so the people in the back row can hear me. Excellent, excellent. Um, uh, I have a, I have a quick question for Dalton. Okay. Uh, this guy. This guy ties into what we were going to talk about because I know you have a big match coming up at Cage Fury against one Ray Rowe. Uh, I'm down here in Texas, and Ray Rowe has uh, sort of been tearing his tearing up the Texas scene as one of the top stars. Uh, I don't know if you know, he's been fighting uh, transvestite uh, luchadors. He's been fighting uh, man that men that dress up as uh, giant monkey men. Um, my question is, what does the party pre uh, party peacock bring to the table when fighting someone like Ray? Oh, jeez. I've <laughs> only been wrestling humans, so like, <laughs> more prepared for this than I, I thought I was prepared. Now that I know that, I'm a little worried. Uh, what do you mean? I'm, I'm a real athlete. I'm a, I'm a New York State Greco-Roman champion, uh, NCAA wrestler. I'm a world team member for beach wrestling, and uh, I think I think I'm going to handle myself just fine in that ring with Ray. You know, speaking of Ray, I, I did put a call out for questions on uh, IWC's Facebook group, and uh, actually Ray Rowe did respond to it. Uh, he he wanted me to ask uh, uh, you how he plans to remember his name after he kicks you in the teeth and drops you on your head. Is, uh, is that where memories are kept? Or are they kept in the teeth? I, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this gonna I mean, there is thing? wisdom teeth back there. I don't know if there's memory teeth, though. <laughs> How hard do you have to be kicked to, to get your wisdom teeth knocked out? I don't know. He's going to have to see my uh, my old dentist because those bitches are gone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I woke up in the middle of them removing all four of them. It was a couple years ago. And I swear to you, the, the foggy memory I have is the, the, the doctor with his foot on the chair by my head. And he's yanking <laughs> on my teeth. <laughs> and, and, uh, and then he saw I was awake and then they turned the gas up. Uh, that It could have been a dream, but that's what I remember. That's unfortunate. Maybe. Um, wow. Zero <laughs> two uh, K uh, in the chat room wants to know what your favorite Neil Diamond song is. Play me, or you don't bring me flowers with anyone. <laughs> that one's got Barbara Streisand. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, speaking of the match, uh, it was revealed on uh, IWC's website uh, that your match is uh, going to become a number one contender shot with Ray Rowe. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that you want to share? It's about damn time, is what I'm saying. Uh, now you uh, did. You know, it is about damn time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I've been here over a year. I think I've had a pretty good. Uh, I don't know my record, but I've I can count. I don't know. I've, I've put a lot of wins. Let's just go with that. I've, I've put up a a good performance each time, and uh, it just makes the match mean that much more. Mm -hmm. I mean, before, I, I don't like to lose, but now that I know that the number one contendership's on the line, yeah, I mean, I'm going to become a little stronger, obviously. Maybe I won't fool around as much. And, and, and you've definitely, uh, um, you have a lot of supporters in the crowd down here in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, well, greater Pittsburgh area, of course, you know, in, in uh, West Virginia and up in Clearfield where uh, where you've been around with IWC. Uh, but but I got to say, you, you've also, I think, uh, 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 gained that a bit from your interactions with one Justin Plummer on uh, Aftershock, including what I think is the first ever pillow fight match ever in IWC. Yeah, I won that shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Justin, he, oh, go ahead. Just, uh, Justin's been great. I mean, I think what he's done with the Aftershock program is is uh has been excellent i i just i'm fortunate that he puts up with the uh, the uh, as little patience as he has for me i've been fortunate to, to just spend some time with him on the program so i mean the pillow fight that was awesome and i don't know if you saw him but he totally bumped his head on those locks taking like a flip bump off the bed so i guess you're welcome justin <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. uh, something worked out because he ended up on Sci-Fi uh, just uh, just last week. So <laughs> I was just gonna say, television star, Sci-Fi Network, Justin Plummer. You know, I mean, he's gonna be gone. I mean, somebody should get a contract on him before he's gone. Well, if if nothing else, maybe you'll get a uh, an aftershock bump off of him. Ooh, man, yeah, maybe maybe I too can be on Sci-Fi talking about how I used to be in a frat and I used to have to make out with boys to get into it. I don't know if that's part of the story or not. Exactly. I, I, the episode I, have to say, I like to imagine. I, I have to say that that was one of my first nights working ringside. Yeah. Uh, and I, I remember you guys carrying in parts of the bed after the show was over to get it set up. And I, I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, you don't get to go in locker rooms, but that's what happens after wrestling shows. In comes the bed, out comes the pillows. It's <laughs> amazing. And sometimes they go for a steam. Yeah, as as, as was on one of the episodes. Yeah. So you know, with with and tell me, was a play, see, the one where uh, you guys went for a steam here at, at IWC at Sammy Callahan's walking around in his skivvies in the background. Yeah, Did he have he any that. idea what was going on? Sammy, Sammy does that. He always he never knows where he puts his pants. I never know why he never has pants. <laughs> Yeah, that's why you don't. That's why we don't go backstage when we do those shows. Yeah, yeah, I, we just stay away from that. Yeah, I try not to go back backstage. Hey, bro, it's just sports. Just uh, just guys, just guys being guys sitting in steam rooms, walking around. You wouldn't shower with your clothes on. You, he has a good point. Yeah, I don't know why I always have a camera near the showers though. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys plugging that and watching the the sisterhood. By the way, I, I do appreciate that a lot. It's great stuff. It's, it's great stuff. <laughs> Dalton uh, is responsible for thirty-five percent of the uh, the the male-oriented porn that you find on the internet. 
Yeah, and uh, now that the syphilis outbreak has happened, I'm I'm shut down. Oh. I'm gonna pick up this wrestling thing because the porn business is getting shut down. Oh man! At least at least you're 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 able to make that uh, uh, pivot in your career and carry on, and it seems yeah, to be well, working out very well for you. Yeah, this wrestling is my my safety net. Is what it is. Exactly. Uh, before I ask my uh, my question. Um, hey, Forn in the chat wants to know if you've received or participated in any tryout matches uh, for any of the bigger promos or uh, promotions, uh, Impact, ROH, WWE. Well, number one, I don't think if, if that were true, if I have, it wouldn't be wise to speak of it. Um, <laughs> and two, no, I, I haven't. No. That's a shame. Or have I? Oh! Uh, all right. Hold on. Let me try this again. Hold on. <laughs> I haven't. Or have I? <laughs> and that's when and that's when Sork cues the dramatic music. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. All, All right. right, sir. Oh wait, we got one in our from the chat room. Uh, what is this? Would he be willing to wrestle the sex robot in Phoenix Pro Wrestling? I have not seen the sex robot. Mm. Is it? Is it Shockwave? No, it's something else. The, the Phoenix is uh, up here in Johnstown, PA. Uh, Wait, a, a newer promotion. Tell me it's just a dildo like on a, uh, on a pole. It just goes like this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. I, wow. I need to get out the Johnstown. I have a sex drop right here. <laughs> <laughs> There's the counter. Sorry, uh, sorry, audio listeners for that one. Um... <laughs> All right, uh, we have a standing question for all of the uh, the interviews that we do here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Um, one of the members that couldn't be here, uh, Bo Diggity, he has sweet name. Yeah, yeah, I gave it to him. It, it's that's mine. Um, Make sure you take your credit. I am taking. Make sure my you credit. take your credit. Um, yeah, should I take? Do I need this on? Do I, should I be shirtless for this question? No, uh, no, no. You can uh, <laughs> you can leave your shirt on. Yeah. Um, he requested that we always ask uh, interviewees uh, if you were a vegetable, what vegetable would you be, and why? A good one. It's a good one. Um, well, initially, I always want to say kumquat, but then I got to remind people <laughs> uh, kumquat's actually a fruit. But it's just fun to say. It's just fun to say. Exactly. Uh, I I think I think broccoli. I would be broccoli, mainly because, well, it's delicious. I mean, it's attractive. Kids love the, and uh, if you ever look at broccoli, there's just it just goes different directions all over the place. It, from the from the start, it just keeps breaking up, breaking up. So there's a lot of pieces to it, and it's hard to understand. And <laughs> it's delicious. Hey, right, I have to, uh, I have to point out at this time that that is only the second time that we've had a a, a vegetable named. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the well, first he, he technically uh, said sweet, sweet, well, sweet potato is still in debate. Um, <laughs> yes, that's still that's still into the judges. Uh, the first time we asked that question was to that Rachel. Also sounds like a racist answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was uh, that was Logan, Logan Shulo. Yeah, that said sweet sweet potato. Oh yeah, yeah, he looks like a sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna guess Logan Shulo when you said that. Um, but uh, Rachel Summerlin from Texas said that she would be a carrot, and gave a good reason as to why. And then um, Dombrowski, Dombrowski no, last week said that he would be a potato so he could practice punching whoever asked that question in the face. <laughs> no. And so you are successfully the second person to actually name a vegetable. Mm. So well, congratulations. You're, you're welcome and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, there's there's one last room to the chat room. Uh, Hot Wheels wants to know if you can have a handicap match with him. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> um, oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, of course I will. But uh, just like the birthday party pre er, question, I'm available. 
<laughs> All right, excellent. Well, Dalton Castle, he's uh, going to be here in Pittsburgh area here. IWCWrestling.com. Cage Fury, although his match is not in a cage, but with Ray Rowe, it's probably going to be just as brutal. Um, the cage is a metaphor in our match. <laughs> the, ca- the cage of your heart, right? Mm-hmm. Well, the cage of all of our hearts are definitely, definitely. Um, so, is there anywhere else you want to plug? Uh, where can people find you? Where Where are you uh, showing up here uh, in the near future? Uh, actually, after well, I got after uh, IWC, I think I'm, I'm going to be out in Agawam, Massachusetts, after this, and then uh, Bridgewater, Massachusetts. And then, I don't know, I gotta look at the calendar. And then back to IWC, I think there's another show coming up real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Buffalo right. places. I post everything on my book faces and I announce it on my Twitter, but uh, I'll be around. I, di- I didn't realize I'd be quizzed. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Always have to be prepared. Vegetables and all. Uh, you're, all, of course, over on Facebook, facebook.com slash the Dalton Castle. We're gonna that. post that stuff. A yeah, how about that? Um, and also on Twitters as well. Oh, and if you're coming to the show, IWC this weekend, I believe I've got new T-shirts on the way. They should be there by Saturday. Excellent. Excellent. Are you, are, are you out of the White Castle looking ones? I am. Those were, That was the first time. I bought those like a couple of years ago. I, I only got like a few of them. That's a shame. That's a shame. They're all gone. I figured it, it might be best to steer away from copying white castle for a little bit <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to be thought of the guy that people eat at 3 a.m and then spend the whole next day on the toilet because of <laughs> it'd be an interesting first impression but yeah i can understand one <laughs> and stay away from that all right thanks a lot so delicious and you make me want to poop <laughs> <laughs> any parting words for the uh, mayhemers out there sir oh well i appreciate the uh, listening to what i have to say and being interested in me Continue to watch the Sister to the Traveling Tights and watch Dalton Castle. There's no telling how high this peacock will fly. Oh, and spread the word of the peacock. I need your help. I mean, people don't know about me. Only you do. Excellent. May Amherst, go spread the word of the peacock. Thanks a lot, Dalton, for joining us. Uh, now we're going to go to the break, check out what's going on on Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold, and see what happened a couple weeks ago. A little teaser of uh, what went down at RWA.